Ben. I am Maruk Zahir Shah. I belong to the tribal areas of uh, Pakistan. Uh, I am assistant professor of economics. I'm environmentalist. I'm working in a U.S. exchange program where I educate uh, female and youth about the climate change and the impacts of the climate change. And I work for the vulnerable communities and marginalized communities. I'm a uh, animal rights activist. Um, here I, today I'm sharing my views on how we are going to shift to a green economy and care society for a sustainable future. So um, nowadays you people have seen that uh, the past year 2023 was the hottest air uh, record on the uh, surface of the earth. So it is very important that we we have to switch to the green economies, to the green businesses, and we have to take care of the society for a sustainable future. Because this land just not, this earth just not belongs to earth. Uh, uh, only uh, us, you know, this land belongs to everyone, not to human beings, but to the marine life, to the animals, to the plants, to everyone living in this planet, this planet belongs to them. So for a sustainable future, we have to work on different levels. For example, like for a peaceful and common balanced world, we have to switch to green economies and circular economies. We have to make our policies in such a way that we will not only take uh, this generation in mind we have to take the we have to take into account the future generation while making any policies while making while switching to any new businesses while doing any kind of private or public investments we have to take the you know, green economies we have to take uh, sustainability in our mind uh, sustainability what is sustainability sustainability is actually that we use the present resources in such a way that we utilize them but we also use uh, leave uh, we also leave a good amount of uh, resources for our coming future generations we uh, leave this planet in a very good condition for them so it is very important that we not only uh, talk about sustainability but we also talk about environmental sustainability uh, environmental sustainability uh, social equity, uh, economic benefits, that how we are going to uh, give this uh, environmental sustainability to this generation and also to the coming generation. We have to, while before making any kind of policies, the government institution, the economic institution, the business, all businessmen, all of them have to keep the children in their minds that uh, we as a, this generation, we are nowadays living in this uh, societies. But we have, before making any policies, we have to keep the children that when they will grow up, so how they are going to take the things and how they are going to deal with the different things. Actually, I belong to a, such a place that is uh, like uh, we live in the tribal areas of Pakistan, which was like under the... Um, you can say that was uh, people used to be victim of terrorism over there. We have very strong social and culture norms, and we have very strong um, we have very strong uh, laws over there where women are usually not allowed to go outside from their houses. They are not allowed to participate in any kind of social economic activities. They are not allowed to get education. So it is very important to make your females make your females educated to make them the part of your businesses to teach them about what is sustainability to teach your children your generation your females that what is sustainability how what is society society is not the name of a single individual society is the name of the combination of the people when different people live together that makes the society a very beautiful thing so for a sustainable society for a good society, society we have to take different measures and there is like where there is a problem there is solution for that problems also you know that like just like in 2015 the global um, community committed to tackle these problems with 
with SDGs and Paris agreements on climate uh, climate uh, change, but still uh, different. Like every year, there is scope to uh, cope uh, take place. There are different agreements take place. Uh, uh, government, individual levels, NGOs, regional on regional levels, on global levels, different initiatives have taken place. But uh, this is like uh, for this world and for a better world, we all have to work together. This is not uh, like job of a single person or a job of a, a single institution we we all have to work together because when we all have to work to uh, will work together then we will able to attain green economies blue economies we will be able to um, get the decarbonization and everything so uh, where there is a problem there is solution for things just like um, if uh, for a sustainable future, for a sustainable society, for environmental sustainability, we have to invest in renewable energies. We have to promote energy efficiency. We can switch to sustainable transportation. Uh, this is a very small thing when we talk about sustainable transportation, but it has a very big impact on the uh, air quality when all of the people will sa start using the sustainable transportation so it will uh, decrease the amount of carbon dioxide and the air and it will uh, improve the air quality uh, we should uh, switch to sustainable uh, agriculture techniques we should uh, switch to the circular economy uh, like ensuring social equity uh, investing in education and training encouraging sustainable consumption uh, we should uh, make such a policy support and collaborations with the government on uh, with the government with the business institution with the economic institu institution uh, which work for the betterment of the people for the betterment of the planet for the betterment of the economies uh, we should innovate Be uh, without innovation and research uh, like we are still practicing the old technique of econ economics, but it is very necessary that we should uh, innovate, we should get into research, and we should switch to the new techniques that how we are going to tackle the problems. Because uh, recently, Pakistan um, uh, Pakistan is one of the most vulnerable um, um, vulnerable uh, country uh, under the impacts of the climate change. Like every year we experience flood, we are experiencing water scarcity, we are experiencing droughts. And that is just like it is crashing our economy. So uh, for a better society, for a better future, it is very necessary that we uh, we should switch our businesses, our buildings to green buildings, our businesses to green economies, and we should work on every individual on every level. It is not like this world belongs to everyone. I believe that this world just not only belongs to human beings, but this is the world for any for the living organisms living in the oceans this is the world for everyone this is the world of the trees this is the world of the forest this world is for everyone so we should work together for a healthy society uh, for our healthy societies and also we should live a very healthy sustainable world for the coming futures for the coming generations sorry thank you